Kidra fungus is this really horrible disease. It's come from the Korean Peninsula where it lives on the skin of frogs uh, there and it doesn't cause any harm. But through the trade of amphibians as pets around the world, it um, spread. And when it got into new e ecosystems, it was highly pathogenic and it wiped out species within like a year. So you, you, one year, one of the most common species in Costa Rica, the golden toad, was everywhere and then it vanished. And this happened many, many times over. So almost 100 species have gone extinct and there's many more that are struggling to stay in the wild. Um, it's really sad. So my research has been focused on what, how can we solve this problem? We've, we've measured the problem enough and we know what species need help. I really only do this one thing. This is what I want to do and this is what I've worked really hard to do. And the last couple of years have been great. I've had a lot of breakthroughs in kind of coming up with some research-based ways to conserve frogs. And here in Australia with green and golden bell frogs, I've developed a vaccine. It works tremendously well. You can deliver it many different ways. One really easy way is you just capture an infected frog from the field and you give them a bit of a sauna bath. You can bring them inside and cure them, or you can place out structure. So warm habitat that heats up in the winter sun in Australia, where they can find refuge themselves, cure their infection. And just like us, their immune system can kick in. And after they get through that first infection, they have uh, long-term um, uh, powerful resistance against the disease.